Patrick. Thinking about moving to San Diego and you were considering La Jolla because you wanted to live next to the ocean, but it's getting a little too pricey over there. So Pacific Beach might seem like a great option. We're here at Pacific Beach right now. It's just north of La Jolla. We're gonna look at one, two, and three bedroom homes near Pacific Beach and see and what it will cost you. We're getting after it right now. So if this is your channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living in San Diego, then subscribe below by tapping the bell for notifications so that you can be the first to know the current market in San Diego. This is Perry Sandoval and I am with Select Premier Properties. We call from people just like you every single day. So whether you're looking to move in nine days or nine months, feel free to reach out to us. Our information is on the description below. I'd be happy to help you make a smooth move to San Diego, California. Now let's take a look at what it costs to live in Pacific Beach. So Pick Beach's population is around 47,000. Uh, this area is very popular amongst young surfers, young professionals, and students due to its beachside location and vibrant community. The medium household income here in Pacific Beach is around 95,000. Pacific Beach offers a mixture of urban and subterranean fill. It has numerous bars and restaurants, coffee shops, and parks. This area is known for its beach lifestyle, outdoor activities, and its lively boardwalk. All right, so we're here at the first property in Pacific Beach. This is the one bedroom. The HOA here is around $633 a month. Uh, all appliances convey, and it should have a view, so I'm really excited to check it out. It's listed at $780,000. One bedroom, one bath, 640 square feet. Let's go take a look. Okay, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and walk through here. I believe it's on the second floor, so we're gonna have to go up the stairs. Usually there's an elevator. There should be an, ele oh, there's an elevator right over here, so. All right, so we're gonna go the total of four floors. All right. I like that it's open. All right, let's go. Ooh, I like this. It feels so cool in here. So you notice that they have tile flooring and it uh, looks like wood flooring as well. It's very, it actually looks like it could be laminate, but laminate wood flooring actually is a great idea, especially when, now it's a hot summer day today. So I really appreciate the fact that this is not carpet, uh, but I love the open feel and for 780,000 right in this prime location, that's a pretty good deal. Um, let's step out here. Oh gosh, and you're right in front of the park. So you have trees here, which is nice because it gives you a sense of privacy, but you're right in front of the park. And oh my God, I can smell the charcoal burning right now. So people are actually barbecuing, which is very tempting to go eat. So behind these trees, you can't really see, but actually the bay is on the other side and there's an actual park right over there all right so let's take a look inside so this is pretty spacious actually uh compared to downtown you get a lot more bang for your buck here in pacific beach so you'll notice i mean usually in downtown the living room is usually like what you see here is the size of what a full unit would be like a studio right so and then look at that. i love these countertops here granite countertops I mean, you have plenty of room to entertain. You can literally sit six people here. On top of that, you still have the living room. Oh, let's take a look out here. And again, more trees, more privacy. Stainless steel appliances. So they, they really put some money into this property and it's very well taken care of. I wonder if it was a rental property because it's in excellent condition. It's a hot summer day. Oh. All right. Ooh, I like the detail on the flooring. So it is a one bath, one full bath, but you'll notice that the bath is completely renovated. And look at the size of this bedroom. This is pretty big, actually. It says here, oh, it doesn't have the room dimensions, but I would guess this is maybe 14 by 16. And yep, I was probably right. This was probably a vacation rental because they usually have the locks here on the closet door. So it'd be interesting to see. Most likely it is a walk-in closet. So I love the windows. There's so many windows, which brings a lot of natural light. 
And we're right in front of the entrance there. So you can actually see when your guests arrive. It's pretty cool. So this property is listed at a whopping 780,000. Again, the HOA is $633. And this is the one bedroom in Pacific Beach. Now let's go take a look at this, the two bedroom. So Pacific Beach is basically known for its beachfront properties. It's known for its lively boardwalk and a plethora of different dining options and entertainment options. Basically that's, that's why it's a little bit more expensive to live here compared to other areas. The rental cost here in PB tends to be a lot higher than you know, other areas in San Diego. So the cost of living in Pacific Beach is technically higher than the national average and the San Diego average. Living in Pacific Beach is about 47% higher than the San Diego average and about 105% higher than the national average. So this next property is a two bedroom and it's in North Pacific Beach, which is the closest area to La Jolla. This property is at a whopping 840,000. They just had a price reduction and the HOA is $554 a month. That includes common area maintenance, hot water, limited insurance, sewer, trash, pickup as well. So let's go check it out. Oh, and you can actually see the pool area down here. That window is actually, it's it kind of gives you more of a resort feel here, which I love. All right, so we're entering the two bedroom, two. Flooring, very similar to the last property, the granite countertops with stainless steel appliances. There's a lot of cabinetry here. And uh, God, everything looks pretty, pretty new. Ooh, the flooring looks completely updated. So it does look like they updated this unit just to get it ready for sale. And it's pretty spacious. I mean, for a two bedroom, we have the dining area here. They added the crown molding, which is a nice little touch. And I love when they add shutters. It just makes it the room look really different. All right, let's check out the bedrooms. Oh, so you have a private barn door, it looks like. And then you walk here, you have, okay. You have a sink for your guests. And then you have its own separate, it has its own separate bathroom. So this is, okay, it is a two bedroom, two bath. However, it looks like the two bedrooms can share the sink. own bathroom but you don't it doesn't look like oh yeah you do have a shower right over here it's good it's pretty nice good shower so yeah so if you're in the main primary bedroom you have access to the other bathroom too you have access to two bathrooms which is pretty unique but this is what separates i guess this is Kind of a dual. This is what you can be your guest's bathroom, but also it can be your roommate's bathroom if you do have a roommate situation. All right, so this property again is a whopping $839,000. Don't forget the fireplace this is gorgeous. And all of the appliances convey in this unit. So this property also has a pool, a spa, a fitness center. It comes with two parking spots as well. All right, let's go check out the three bedroom. Such a nice day here in San Diego. We're so blessed to live in an area where year round, the climate's around 72 degrees, usually. So the housing cost in Pacific Beach is particularly a little steep, right? Compared to, again, San Diego's average. Uh, the medium home price here in Pacific Beach is around 1.6 million for a home. For renters, the average 
rental cost for apartment is around 2700 and for a one bedroom it's ranging around 2900 and for a two bedroom they can range between 3600 dollars plus so it is a little bit higher than the national average so pacific beach does have a moderate crime rate crime rates are more common with property crime as opposed to violent crimes. However, Pacific Beach is considered a relatively safe place to live. So given the high cost of living here in Pacific Beach, a lot of residents prefer to rent rather than buy because home prices can be fairly steep. All right, so we are at the third property. This is a three bedroom. It's approximately 1403 square feet. It's a two bath and it's in one of my favorite areas in San Diego Crown Point. I'm gonna show you around in a bit, but this property is just completely renovated. I'm so excited to show it to you. It's listed at 1.8 million. Let's show you what 1.8 million gets you in Crown Point. Sounds like vacation. <laughs> All right, so, oh, look at this. So we have a large living room with the fireplace. I can tell that this has to be the original flooring. This property was built in 1959. Oh, and it has, I like how they preserved the fireplace. It's a little bit of an older fireplace, but it looks like it's in fairly, really good, good condition. It's a little obvious that it is an addition. They might've used this as a library or an office. I really like the high vaulted ceilings here and the windows, it gives it so much natural light. You can look out into the backyard. So I'm gonna show you in a bit why this property costs so much because the location is everything. As you can tell, you can see the neighbors have a rooftop deck there. I wonder why, I'll show you soon. All right, so entering the dining area, I love the new light fixture here. And I love how in the kitchen, you can just look right into the dining area. So it's pretty open. So a lot of times I feel like kitchens are closed off, but this does not feel too closed off because you can, so you can start, you can cook and you can still entertain your guests and look at this look at this oven over here i wonder if this is original but i love how they preserved it right we have a little breakfast nook area oh this has to be the laundry room and it takes you into a bathroom over here believe it or not even though this property was built in the 60s this is back in style now these tiles Oh, and look at the little doggy door. If you have a little Yorkie, it's perfect. Perfect for a little Yorkie mom. All right, so now we step into, it feels somewhat of a maze, but now we're stepping into bedroom one. If you do buy this property or whoever buys this property, they're definitely gonna need to update the flooring, have it refinished. Then we have the uh, other bathroom here. You could tell they invested in new windows as well. They did preserve the uh, closet doors here. Still plenty of room. For being an older home, there is a lot of storage. A lot of, a lot of closet space here. And all I see are doorknobs. There's doorknobs everywhere. Oh, look at this. More closet space for your linens and towels. And let's see the third bedroom over here. It's a little bit of a smaller room, but oh, that closet is pretty big. What is this? A secret door? Oh, there we go. <laughs> In case you couldn't get out one door, you have another. You have a emergency exit door. All right, let's go check out the backyard. All right, I love the privacy here. So. In order to get to the garage, you have to drive through your driveway here, but it's fully fenced. So if you look this way, you'll notice that it's pretty secure. Not that you would need much security in this area because it is a pretty secure neighborhood. Ta -da. Vanna White, show me. It's very rare that I see a garage this clean. But uh, this is what you get in Pacific Beach for 1.8 million bright in Crown Point, and I'm gonna show you why this location is prime location. So this is why the three bedroom costs 1.8 million, because you have this as your backyard.
that concludes our video about Pacific Beach. Now, if you're looking to move to San Diego, California, feel free to reach out to description below. I'm for watching until next time.